Hello YouTube, it is MacD98. Today I'm going to do a very unusual video because as you can see, this is a iPod Touch 4th generation. Now I had a little project idea for this weekend, and that is, that is to get the uh, personal assistant Siri from the iPhone 4S onto this iPod Touch. And the re result is, it does work, so I'll do a demo right now. What is the weather like this weekend? So I'll do another one, like, what is the stock price for Apple? Apple closed at $493.42 last Friday. Now this is Siri running on the iPod Touch, as you can see. So I'll do a few more to test to show you that it does work. Remind me, at tomorrow at 5 p.m., I have a doctor's appointment. Checking your calendar. I didn't find any appointments for tomorrow at 5 p.m. about I have a doctor's. Shall I create it? No. Okay then, I won't create the appointment. So I'm going to try to do a reminder now. Remind me tomorrow at 5 p.m. I have a dentist appointment. One sec. Here's your reminder for tomorrow at 5 p.m. So as you can see, the Reminders app does work. Shall I create it? I'm not going to do that. Now, I'm going to do a location-based okay. one. Where are some nearby gas stations? I found a number of gas stations. 18 of them are fairly close to you. So this does show some other ones. So one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something that relies on Wolfram Alpha. What is one cup? This might answer your question. So that is the correct one for Wolfram Alpha. Now, so I'm going to use uh, Yelp. What are some good restaurants in Durham, North Carolina? Now, I no longer live in Durham, but there's some old... I found a number of restaurants. 20 of them are in Durham, North Carolina. I've sorted them by rating. So, as you can see, the Sunrise Biscuit Kitchen is the uh, closest one. Uh, I was on East Franklin Street. I actually remember that street. So, um, some other things I'm going to do are um, the timer and the clock. What time is it in Las Vegas? Okay, um, set my timer for 20 minutes. Setting the timer. Okay, 20 minutes and counting. So I'm going to cancel that timer because I don't want it to go off in 20 minutes. Cancel. Cancel the timer. So I'm going to do another weather question. Oh, whoops. Here's the forecast for today through this Friday. So it did recognize it as a forecast, but I'm going to do something else. What is the weather in Cupertino, California? Okay, here's the weather for Cupertino, California today through this Friday. Okay. I'll do one using maps. What's the traffic like in... New York City. Here's the traffic. So it does go into maps and goes to New York City. Uh, as you can see, it's it's searching for it, and it is getting the traffic. Now, since this is a big file to load, I'm going to stop that right here. So. Uh, that is that is an overview of Siri, so I'm going to do one more. Send a text message to Jacob saying, hello. Here's your message to Jacob. Ready to send it? Yes.
Okay, I'll send your message. Okay, so it did send, and I've tested this. The one thing that doesn't work is phone calls or, because it's, it's not on phone, or FaceTime, which I don't know why it's, um, it doesn't work on FaceTime. But, uh, that is pretty much an overview of Siri working on the iPod Touch 4th generation. And, uh, next weekend I might try to put it on the iPad 2, and I'll p post a video if that is successful. But maybe eventually I'll also do a tutorial on how to get Siri to run on an iPod Touch 4 or an iPhone, probably the 3GS and the 4, and any iPad. And one other note is that my um, I'm getting sent an iPhone 3GS and an original iPhone, so look for videos on that soon, and I might end up trying to get Siri to work on the 3GS. So this has been a Mac D98 production. Goodbye.